it's Deb Rock Evans from Hers by Design. And this tutorial is, um, I'm doing this for Yunshe and Danielle actually, who expressed an interest in how I achieved a, an effect of repeating myself, cloning myself if you like, um, within some footage of a video that I did recently, one of my design tips re videos, uh, where I was talking about the crap design principles and I was talking about repetition. So I used an illustration of repetition by effectively cloning myself. So I'll show you the footage now and then I'll talk you through how I achieved this in iMovie. Repetition isn't just about repeating yourself. Hey. Uh, hey, look, sorry. Do you mind? I'm trying to do a video here. Oh. Yeah. I thought it would help with the message. Thanks. Like I was saying, repetition is not just about repeating yourself. It's kind of stupid. Anyway, I was in a goofy mood. So a couple of things just to point out before I show you how I did it. Um, you'll notice in the footage when I, I shoo myself away, I had to be very conscious of the fact that my hand didn't extend too far over into the screen here. I also chose and I'll explain now why. I chose this background for a reason. You'll notice it's not just a, a flat wall. Um, there's a few different colors and there's lines going on. And I use this because when I crop the second image, uh, the second footage over the first, um, it, it really helps to have a line to run down and crop it by because if you have a wall that's all the same color, if the lighting situation changes in any minor way it's you're going to get a line it's going to be really obvious um, and I filmed this indoors during daylight um, and so even in daylight it's very changeable you know even if there's just clouds going across the sky or what have you it's going to change the light quite dramatically so it helps it helped me anyway to have a, a feature in the background where I could you know easily crop it so I'll show you what I mean now because it's probably not making an awful lot of sense I'll close this out and um, we're starting a new a new movie this is um, iMovie 10 by the way I'm not sure if you can do this in later releases uh, in earlier releases rather but you certainly can in my version so I'm going to go grab the files that I used so yes when you are filming your footage uh, keep in mind the lighting um, situation try and keep things really consistent and film within a short space of time here I'm just going to right click select the entire clip and drag it into the timeline here and also try and make the clips um, around about the same length of time too because it's not going to work so well if there's a big difference in time this clip is a little bit shorter than the other um, but that's okay I've got a little bit of post editing to do here so at the beginning of this clip I make a bit of a blunder and then I start again here I am starting again okay this is where I'm going to start from and also I was turning off the camera here so we don't want that and we'll end on my crazy goofy face <laughs> I've been told I have a very expressive face and we'll marry these up to finish at the same time because um, again if there is a difference in lighting between these two clips um, if I play from here now you might from this point you might see some lighting change repetition is not just about repeating yourself yeah see there was a very subtle lighting change there so um, this top clip is the clip that's going to have the effect added to it so we may as well bring that right to the end so that that background doesn't change okay and the other thing I need to look for here is that I'm looking around at around about the time that I make my entrance yep so I think that's going to work okay um, could potentially shorten this oops I could shorten this clip a little bit there but you can see my shadow approaching so yeah probably keep it at that okay so time to add the effect so you click on the top footage because that's the one that's going to have the effect go up here 
um, to the layers option, the two rectangles, and um, you'll see you've got a drop down here with a few options. Cut away, green, blue screen, which is what we're going to use side by side and picture in picture. So just to quickly show you what each of these do, cut away, you can basically fade, dissolve between the two frames. That can create quite a ghost-like effect. Side by side literally places the two clips side by side. So I don't want that in this case because now I have two pantry cupboards and two walls and cuts off my faces. It wasn't going to work for this purpose. Picture in picture, that's quite a neat effect um, you can do. You could find some way to use that, but again, it wasn't what I was looking for. I really needed to do something kind of clever with this. Now, with the blue and green screen, blue green screen, you'll be wondering what's going on here. But there's a bit of me in a chair, and it's not quite right. That's the green screen taking effect. You'll also notice these crop drag points on the corners, and that's what we're going to go for. We're going to bring these in. You can pretty much bring them into wherever you want. Um, and reveal the footage underneath. That is literally how you do it. It's pretty neat, huh? So now you're going to understand why I chose the background I did because what I can do here is bring these crop marks right in along that edge and it's going to make it look super... you're just not going to know. It's a whole lot less obvious, isn't it, what we've just done. So I would suggest you bear that in mind when you do your own footage. It's quite a handy thing. So now if we play that back. Repetition isn't just about repeating yourself. <laughs> Yay! Hey! Uh, hey look, sorry, do you mind? I'm trying to do a video here. <laughs> if I did this differently yeah, next time, I would um, try and um, I would try and apply this um, effect uh, with some of my trial footage just to make sure that I'm looking in the right places because clearly I wasn't. Um, I'm looking down on the seat rather than up at where my body ought to be. So we're not really looking at each other properly, which is kind of off-putting. But hey, you get the idea. So I really hope that this little tutorial helped and that you um, put this awesome effect in iMovie to effect at some point in your videos in the future. Thanks for watching. Bye. Thank you.